Samuel was not the last of a kind, as is being said on television today. He's not the last of a kind. There was no Sammy before Sammy. And there is no Sammy on the horizon. He was good at everything he did. He m mastered it. He was the best entertainer the entire world has ever known. I would describe Sammy Davis Jr. in two words, bottled dynamite. Singer, musician, impersonator, dancer, actor. I don't think I have enough fingers to really use to count how, how many things Sammy Davis Jr. can do on stage and did on stage all in one performance. Now listen to you, Mark Shea. You know this is wise guy. This is Robinson, that's right. Eddie Robinson, that's me. He was bright, articulate, beautiful. Good evening. Hello, Eliza. How are you? I'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gary Grant, but they've made a horrible mistake backstage. I'm not supposed to be on now. He was able to dazzle in a way that we hadn't seen. I spy a young cowboy wrapped up in white ring. <laughs> Shucks, I wouldn't put it on unless I was good at it. Everyone was afraid of Sammy. His talent was so wonderful, so great, that a lot of entertainers would back off. They'd say, I don't want to be near him. I don't want to open for him. I don't want to follow him. I can't follow him. I can't go near this man. This man has too much talent. What distinguishes an icon from a mere performer? What characteristics help forge such a strong bond with the public that a name becomes synonymous with an image? Is it talent? Perseverance, personality? Many celebrities have possessed these qualities, yet few have reached such heights. Perhaps the stuff of legends is a quality that can't be defined, a skill that can't be honed. When it comes to separating the adored from the appreciated, you either have it or you don't. Sammy Davis Jr. had it all. He was definitely a man ahead of his time. If I were to look up the word performer in the dictionary, Sammy Davis Jr.'s picture should be in there. I think Sammy was a phenomenon to people. I think it was a phenomenon, and they didn't know how to define it. So it's like, what, what do we do with this guy? Do, what, how, how do we classify this guy? How do you classify him? How do you say th that this guy is the greatest thing we have ever seen in the world, ever? How do you do that? When he's a comedian and he can sing, he can turn around and do play the drums, and then he can turn around and play the saxophone. You're like, wait a minute, wait. <laughs> All you can say is, wait, hold on. Born and raised in the classic vaudeville style, Sammy was the complete package. Dancer, singer, impressionist, and storyteller. Throughout his illustrious career, he was recognized as the world's greatest living entertainer. A black performer in a time of segregation and extreme prejudice, Sammy used his fierce drive and limitless talent to break through the barriers of color. Throughout his public life, he would endure insults regarding his race and religion, several death threats, even a horrific car accident that claimed one of his eyes. Privately, he would forever battle the demons of a childhood lost to the stage, of a loneliness born out of a constant stream of next towns and faceless crowds but you would never know it for in the spotlight all those shadows disappeared through all the despair and turmoil Sammy remained the quintessential of cool because of his vast talent and accomplishments the name Sammy Davis Jr. conjures up many images in our collective mind but if there was one thing the entertainer came to symbolize for us it was the way he went about it all. Sammy Davis Jr. will forever be an icon of cool.